Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a keto cook with me. Um, as you heard in one of our other videos, I had a nutrition appointment and I'm doing well with my keto eating, with my keto foods. Now I'm implementing some intermittent fasting. And so um, I have a certain eating window and usually most nights I'm already out of the house. By that time, last night, I didn't eat till about 7.45 and my eating window was 7, 7.30. But we were not home. Um, so I'm going to do some meal prepping to help with um, making sure that I have things that I can take with me, grab and go, and have meals on the go. So um, we're going to be doing a couple things today. It's a big prep today. We're gonna be doing some Joe Dove Keto Waffles, which I just got the rest, I just looked at the recipe again. I'm gonna make those in the mini dash to see how many I can get. I'm gonna do some puffles, which are chaffles using crushed pork rinds. Um, I think I'm gonna make some pizza puffles if I'm able um, by chopping up some tiny pepperoni or putting some bacon in. Um, I'm gonna do two batches of pigtails, a batch of cabbage, some eggs for angel eggs, I'm gonna dice up some radishes because I'm gonna do like a radish casserole. I saw on Simply Misty's uh, channel. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Um, Alana has been out in the garden this morning picking veggies out of our garden. So those are some nice green bell peppers and we got some yellow wax beans. Um, aren't they pretty? I just love these beans and we love them. I told the kids to make sure that they looked a little bit more because I think there might be some more out there just hiding, sometimes they hide. And um, she's picking radishes again this morning. Um, I'm going to go out and check the garden a little bit later to see kind of what we have going on out there. Um, we're going to be doing a spaghetti squash bake because I have a spaghetti squash I need to make. And I have some chicken and some broccoli. So we're going to probably do that in an Alfredo sauce. There's a couple things that I'm planning. We're going to make some bacon. I'll do that. And... Um, yeah, so a couple things. This is just get us to a good point so that I'm able to have some meals and some food done ahead and the kids will also as well. We're also gonna be pulling, I'm gonna be making, I may do this as a separate cook with me, but I'm gonna make those uh, Philly cheesesteak enchiladas that I made the other night. We got some friends, my sister and my friend are coming over to help me with a house project that we'll be filming for you. Um, they're coming over to help me with that. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna set, film that separately and then somebody asked me about the uh, chocolate cherry keto bread, banana bread. And I'm also um, going to be doing Friday Night Live tonight. So I will be on for that. And uh, yeah, we got a couple things going. So we're getting ready. The cable person, <coughs> not cable, the internet person is on their way. My internet is really spotty, really sketchy, really crazy. And I've waited for a long time to call anybody about it because I thought, you know, with the high traffic and people on the internet and virtual learning and all the things, what? She hates them. Where are they? Well, go the other way. Just so she can get a stretch now and then you can go back the other way when they done. Close the door. Ma'am does not like the trash people. It's our trash pickup day and recycling. She does not like them. So he's going to walk her the way they are not going so that she does not bark her head off. Um, but anyway, he's coming to check. Um, I was trying to do a Google Meet Wednesday night with my teenage girls group. And it was crazy. I kept going in, fading out. My screen kept going like froze, froze, froze. It's just, it's a lot. So hopefully um, they're going to help us out. Hopefully. I'm prayerful to see. I know my equipment is older. So I'm hopeful they will switch me out equipment. And then I'm also, the the technician, when, when I called, the person I called said, when they were looking at the line, that there was something wrong with my line. So hopefully... Because we don't have down uh, outages in our area, but there is something wrong with the connection. So prayerfully, they will get that squared away. We are, I think, the first appointment this morning between 8 and 9. It is a Friday, and I'm off today. 
um, primarily because my son, my oldest son, Trandon, is like I said, transitioning out of service and he will be moving today. He is uh, finishing up on base. He is gonna come back here before he gets on the road to his new life. And there it is. So I thought I would be available to him, maybe do something with the kids before he gets on the road. He is moving far, um, hours, hours, <laughs> not as far as Shamika, but hours <laughs> away. Because Shamika has transitioned as well. She is no longer uh, in NC. She is away, away, <laughs> and thinking about moving again. So um, right now, my children, my older children will be very far from me. But I was telling somebody the other day, they said, well, how are you handling that? I said, when you get debt free, there is nothing that you can't imagine doing. My children are only as far as a um, a plane ticket. If I need to get to my children, I'm, I'm well able to get to them. And it's because I maintained the debt free journey and saw it out even when it was hard. And it was hard. Um, at times. So anyway, what we want to do is go ahead and get started on this meal prep. I'm going to put the pigtails on first. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to put the eggs in first because they don't make a residue in the pot because I have to use my instant pot. And I only have one. So anybody that's out there watching my channel and you're looking for somebody to um, preview your instant pot, I'm your girl. If you got an instant pot you want me to try or a consori, or something, you can just hit me up, one mom, two girls, two boys, eight and all at gmail.com, and let's talk about it. Let's see what um, you need me to preview. Also, if you want to pre preview your pots, I'll preview them too. I saw Simply Misty had some really nice um, cookware, and I thought, man, that was really pretty speckled, but it was nonstick. Again, that's not my testimony. I got what I got. Or if you want me to preview your air fryer, you just send it right along. And I'll be happy to give you a review on it. Yes, I will in Jesus' name. And amen. So let's get started. Eggs in. And then I'm going to work on the Joe Duff waffles first before I do the chaffles. And then I'm actually also going to make a couple snacks and um, help Jackson figure out snacks uh, for him. Um, and some snacks for me and Alana. So it's going to be a pretty big cook with me, mom and kids. They think they're not cooking. The devil is a lie. Um, everybody in here eat. Everybody in here going to be cooking in Jesus name. So Alana's been out to the garden and she's picked several and these are all very beautiful. Now I did not thin out the radishes. So some of them are tiny just because um, I didn't thin them. But some of them are really, really nice size. Like that's a good size radish. So we're going to have radish casserole probably times two. So did you pick them all, sister? It's still more? Wow. 
Um, but we could tell that some of these needed to come out of the ground because they're starting to split. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and wash these. We'll wash that dirt out. It'll be perfectly fine. Uh, we'll top them and do, and cut the roots off. And then we'll, we'll have radishes. Is it is this just radishes? And this is just radishes as well. And I saw the peppers. And so sister actually went out and picked because it's time for them to be pulled but they all turned out really, really well. I mean, our radishes turned out extremely well. So I'm excited about this. Yeah, some of them see right here. It's just time, it was time for them to come out. But we'll top these, get the greens off. And next time we'll probably look at doing radish greens. Um, we probably could do them today, like you would do. Um, we may save the greens and figure out how to cook them. They'd have to be cooked today because I don't want to hold them long. But I'll get the kids in here working on these as far as getting the tops off and the roots out. And then we'll wash them up. And we will have, uh, I'll, do, I'll do a double radish casserole because I have some radishes in the fridge from last time. And I also have some I purchased before these were ready. So we'll just do them all up at one time and do like a radish and bacon casserole. All right, so here is... Um, one of the waffles, it is done. It's a little thin or flimsy to me, but they can always be put in the um, toaster to firm up some. So I think that it is okay. It smells really good. Somebody has discovered that the cable guy is here, but I don't care what she thinks today. I gotta get my, I met the internet guy. I gotta get my internet fixed. She is not a fan of visitors, um, but I gotta get my, internet fix yeah my fingers that's really hot okay oh praise the lord that was hot so i may add some chocolate chips i may do a second batch we'll see how many we can get out of this batch jackson likes joe duff waffles sister does i like them as well we'll see this is our waffle station so we're going to keep making waffles all right, so this is when you get um, creative here. We don't have ice or ice packets. Um, I don't have an ice machine, so I, but I do have these freezer, freezer packs, frozen ice. So I just threw that in the water to help cool down the eggs. Five minutes, the timer's on, and then we'll get these shelled. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and put get my pigtails prepped to go into the Instant Pot since it's now empty. Just gonna empty that water out. I'm gonna get the meat washed to put in here and I'm gonna keep making waffles. So I'm back and forward between a couple things. Alrighty, you guys, here it is. Alana is using the kitchen shears to clean up the radishes. Um, seems she has made the executive decision not to use the radish leaves, but that's okay. We'll use them next time. It's perfect. Keep going. Got to get the help where, honey, the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few in Jesus' name. So there it is. Um, this is so far what our dishes look like from prepping. We'll take a few minutes and get those into the dishwasher. But she is just getting, and that's a fresh trash bag. We just changed the trash bag. So um, there's not a lot of trash in there where she's able to clip those off. Jackson is working on, what are you working on, Jackson? Sausage balls. What you working on, Bubba? Sausage balls. A sausage ball recipe. We're going to use Simply Misty sausage balls. I uh, saw her work on that yesterday. The internet guy just left and my internet should be fixed. I'm prayerful. 
in Jesus' name. Again, we do have some, uh, those peppers look amazing. I'm so excited about that. Um, this is what we have in from the fridge, things that need to be used. So we've got some greens. They'll be used for lunch. We have a piece of chicken that'll be used for lunch. Um, there's some egg bake. The um, chocolate cherry bread. That's what that is. And just a couple of clean outs. So we pulled out stuff from the fridge. The eggs are already peeled, and I'm still working on waffles. Haven't started chaffles yet, but um, I am getting some waffles done. If you leave them in there a little bit longer, they do firm up. But again, you can put these in the uh, in the toaster to get a little bit crispy. I didn't put the chocolate chips in because I'm leaving them in a little longer, and I didn't want the chocolate to burn. So I just added in some cinnamon. And then um, if the kids want, oh, oh, stuck. Hi, Chuck. If they want chocolate chips, they can just put them on top and microwave it real fast. So we're still working along, haven't quite finished up things yet, but we're getting there. So uh, the pigtails are already in the Instant Pot and we're living our best life. Um, still a couple things that need to get done, but we're moving along. Um, and that's what I appreciate is being able to have some forward progress and movement. Um, I didn't get my tripod all set up I should have with the light and all the things but I don't have time for that I do need lipstick because my lips get really dry and I need that so I'm gonna try to find my coffee again for the 15th time today because I've yet to drink my coffee but I'm gonna find it and drink it in the meantime waffle station is going and we're living our best life all right, so Jackson is working on um, sausage balls. I did forget that when I was talking earlier, but he's working on sausage balls. I'm now working on cinnamon pancakes. I meant cinnamon waffles, not pancakes, but cinnamon waffles. Still a little bit softer than I would like, but um, you can put them in the toaster and they will toast up just fine. So I'm working on batch. We did about three batches We've got clothes going in the, and they firm up after you get them out of the dash. We have clothes going in the laundry room. Um, Trandon said he'd be here this morning sometime. My sister's also coming. I'm gonna go look at houses with her. I've got a surprise package coming today. Yay. So we're still working along. Jackson's working on sausage balls. That'll be good for breakfasts. Then we'll work on a few lunch ideas. All right, you guys. So Jackson and I are gonna make pepperoni pickles. Um, these are the sweet gherkins, no sugar added. Probably way dirty keto, but again, that doesn't bother us. I've got some great value garden vegetable um, cream cheese spread. And then I also have some sandwich pepperoni that I had them cut in the deli. And you get way more slices when you get it cut than you do in the pack. So what we're gonna do is just take a slice. This is a keto friendly snack. I'm gonna put some cream cheese on it. And then we're just gonna roll a pickle. Put a pickle in the middle and roll. And Jackson's gonna taste it. And Mama's gonna taste it. Mm. Mm. Want to try this, Oh, there we go. So that gets us about three good bites. Pretty lovely. So maybe Mom will do the cream cheese and Jackson will do the pickle maybe. We'll make as many as we are able. And just put them in a, in a bowl.
And there that is. So we're gonna let Jackson finish those up and put those in a bowl. And we'll have a snack already ready. Mm -hmm. But I need to get that cabbage out so I can cut it and put it in here. Yeah, but let me check that well, waffle. I'm trying to figure out what else I had on my list of things I was doing. Um, oh, the ca the cabbage. Did we get that out? It's right there. I'm just oh, Mom, I just added to mm -hmm. the little broccoli. Mm -hmm. There's like a bunch of like little broccoli. Little broccoli. Almost as big as ones you get from the store, like they're tiny, but okay. not like big whole heads of broccoli. Yet. Yet. Did you see any cabbage in there? Like this little bowl, like I said? Yeah, there's just like one in there. Like I didn't move the leaves, and, you know, of course, I'm not breaking Right. Well, I moved the apple leaves in there. How'd the kale look? It looks fine. Because I'll probably need to go fix some of that soon. Do we plant spinach? I don't think we planted spinach. What could we call it cauliflower? Cauliflower. Okay, I'll need a little bit of butter in here. Butter for cabbage. Maybe a few more minutes. Sorry. And we can baste these multiple times. Like when they come out? Yeah, you can baste them again. You want to take over for me? Like, I get the, can I get the cabbage? Got a base with experimentation. Maybe switch with mom, I'll get the package I love pigtails in the morning. You give some pigtails, or you give me some uh, pigs, some neck bones, and uh, give me some neck bones. What are those like? Pig neck bones? Cow neck bones? Pig. Pig feet. Yuck. That's for breakfast. What would you make ahead? So, Mom, what's a make ahead? Mom, what's for what's a make ahead? All of it is make ahead. As in, what do we? Or you can have sausage balls, one of the two. Almond 
Whoa, that's yellow. Mom, why is it so jelly? What, okay. The sauce. Because you're fat. Alrighty, you guys, so we have the sausage balls are out. The waffles are all done. These are just waffles, not poffles, using the Joe Duff uh, waffle um, recipe. They do firm up pretty firm after you take them out of the um, waffle maker. We made 18, and we have a little one left in there. The um, pigtails are out of the uh, oven and basted very hot um the pepperoni pickles are done the only thing that is not done cabbage is still being worked on i do have to make chaffles i will make some chaffles but i've got to run an errand with my sister so um i'm gonna do that when i get back um she's looking for houses and so Prayerfully, she'll be able to find one. She found two communities that she really likes and actually closer to our house than she lives right now. This will be the closest that she's ever lived to us if she decides to build here. And she's gonna do a new build instead of something that's already um, pre-existing. Um, the build time is not very long. Um, it's not overly long, but long enough. And she's, you know, in her situation at the moment. but. It'll be perfectly fine. I'm gonna go over and check out those two places with her. Trannon still has not made it here yet, but I'm prayerful that it will not be late, 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 late. But um, we're still just cooking away. So I still have the radish casserole to make. I still have the chaffles to do. And I still want to do the um, spaghetti squash bake, get that done. So I still have plenty of time. It's only 10.30 in the morning. And the kids and I started at about 8.30. Um, and we've been doing different things throughout. So no cleaning has gotten done today except the dishes from the cook-aheads. But the house was pretty good. Alana did actually um, mop out the laundry room. We got clothes going in the dryer and clothes that are waiting to go into the dryer. So we're good. Um, I'm going to eat at about 11.30 or noon because I'm going to go with my sister and I'll be past my eating window. I'll be out and I won't get anything. I'll just eat when I get home. Um, but we're doing pretty good. I'm glad that we were able to get this far and I'll finish up when I get back. All right, you guys. So it is several days later since the first part of the meal prep. Um, I did not have a lot of time to get that stuff done, but I'm finishing up. I am. It is. 5.50, it is already dark outside. Just dropped Alana off at youth group. Jackson and I are at home. He went to his youth group earlier. Um, and then now he just walked the dog. And I am starting on two meals at the same time. So I'm gonna be doing the, instead of doing the cheesesteak enchiladas, um, Jackson didn't really care for that because he said that the wrap was a little bit soggy, more soggy than he would like it. I am going to take that meat and use that with the spaghetti squash and make a casserole out of that instead of using another meat on top of this meat. So I already have it thawed out. So I've got some onions. I've got some uh, spinach that I need to use up. And I'm going to go ahead and get my pan on the stove for that. But I'm also going to be making some cranberry, some orange cranberry muffins. Um, now I've made keto muffins before we've made them chocolate. We've added in chocolate chips. Um, we have done them plain. We've made cinnamon muffins. So I'm going to take that keto muffin recipe and one of my subscribers, Miss Sandy was telling me how to make a keto, re uh, uh, cranberry relish. And so the cranberry relish is very simple, very simple. I, I, it's actually on this video. It's just cranberries, sugar-free orange marmalade, which I did find at, at my uh, Walmart. And I got three of them. Woo! Um, and if I go again next week, I'll get a couple more just so I'll have them. And uh, monk fruit, golden monk fruit. 
So three ingredients. So I'm gonna make up a batch and I'm gonna take half of the batch and put it into the keto muffins and just make 12 cranberry orange muffins. I love cranberry orange muffins, but I haven't had them because I'm keto. And then I'm gonna take like a, maybe a brown butter sauce and just put on top of it because I think that would be so delicious and wonderful. Remember I am intermittent fasting, so I am probably just hungry. I've only eaten one time today but I ate quite a bit of things at the same time. Um, I'm gonna have coffee now and hopefully that will hold me. But I only have another hour for my eating window. So I'm gonna try to get those two things done simultaneously. The oven is on. So I'm gonna get my fry pan on and then I'm gonna work on the relish. All right, you guys, so I did a large box of the Steakums. I'm hoping to get a couple meals, at least a dinner and a lunch out of this one. So I did the Steakum, which is the shaved beef. I did uh, some onions and peppers. And then I put in a massive amount of spinach that actually shrunk down. Now I'm gonna put in a can of diced green, uh, diced petite diced tomatoes with green chilies. And I'm gonna have that cooked down. And then I'm going to go and work on the muffins because I want to put this and the muffins in the oven at the same time. So I'm actually going to let that, um, just let that kind of render down a little bit so those tomatoes can break up some. I'm actually going to just chop those up a little bit. And then to this, I'm gonna add in one can of the paste, queso blanco. So I had traditionally planned to um, make my own keto queso, but no time. So I am having to take a shortcut here. And I know this is not the cleanest of pesos, but it's what I could do right now. It's, it met my time frame and schedule. Worked out just perfectly for me. I'm gonna actually just put a little bit of this in here so I can get out what's in this jar. That heat will make it slide out. So I'm just gonna let that do what it's doing. I'm gonna turn that heat back just a smidge. And then I'm gonna go work on the muffins so that I can get those in at the same time. I'm using the recipe from uh, Fat for Weight Loss. This is their keto chocolate chip muffins. But I'm just gonna sub in the orange cranberry relish for the chocolate chips. I'm just making the uh, 
recipe just like he calls for it. Let's see how many muffins this makes. Six servings, so I'm gonna double this. Six servings, I'm gonna double it so I can make 12. squash needs to be scraped out. Mm. Okay, I'll get it in a minute. Wait a minute. One teaspoon. So double this two teaspoons. Okay. All right, I've got my wet, uh, make my dry ingredients in. So I'm just gonna give it a quick minute. All right, okay, I need 40 grams of butter or 80 grams of butter. I'm gonna do two sticks of butter. I'm gonna melt these or just um, soften them in the microwave. All right, my butter's done, I got my milk. I'm gonna slowly pour the butter in. four eggs, two tablespoons, I mean two teaspoons of vanilla. Jackson, hand me four eggs. This batter is really loose. Okay, it's starting to firm up some. It was loose compared to, to what I remember in the past, but We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna let this down. This batter seems a little loose to me compared to what I'm used to it being. And I might have should have used this other recipe. Let me see. Probably should have used that first one. But I'm going to go with this one and see how it comes out. It's starting to firm up some, but it's still a little loose to me. 
think I should have used the blueberry recipe instead. I put a lot of butter in that, but I mean, it's firm and all. So I followed the recipe. It was only supposed to make six, but I uh, doubled it. And so I'm hopeful that it's gonna come out the way it's supposed to. So what I'm gonna do now to make this the orange cranberry is I'm gonna take the um, cranberry relish and it smells very fresh. And I'm gonna dump this in. Well, not all of it. About, let's see, that's three heaping tablespoons. That should be plenty. And I'm gonna just fold this, fold that in. get all of that up from the bottom. So it's firming up. It's not as loose as it was. Okay, I'm gonna get this into the um, muffin tins, finish up that spaghetti squash and get everything in the oven. All right, so I didn't have a, a big spaghetti squash. It was just a tiny one, but I did have some cabbage that was left over. And I know some people might not put a, a meat over cabbage but I think it's gonna be perfectly fine. I know when I was doing Weight Watchers, you could sub in cabbage, um, like do a cabbage lasagna or something like that. So I'm gonna do it like this and just pour this meat over it. I did not drain the grease because I wanted to keep that. I'm gonna give this a stir. If I have a smaller one, I don't think I have quite 12 more muffins, but I might. You want another 12 muffins, Eddie? Uh, give me another one. I gotta have another one. So you can actually see the spaghetti squash being moved around. You can't even tell that there's cabbage in this. And I'm gonna top this with a four cheese Mexican blend. All right, I got the 24 of the muffins. We'll see how they cook up. I'm not sure how they will do with the added, but I'm gonna put them on the bottom and the casserole on the top. Oven is set for 355. The muffins are supposed to cook for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes and we'll check it. And in the meantime, uh, Jackson and I are going to clean. All right, so the casserole is done. It was in the oven for about 35 minutes. There is some grease on here, but again, we're keto, so we're keeping the grease. We'll live our best grease life. So that is done. And then over here, our cranberry orange muffins are done. Um, we're letting these cool so that we can kind of see what they taste like. We tasted a little piece, tasted fine. Um, it wasn't as sweet as I would like, and I think I might have just used too much butter. I don't think I got my conversions right, mm. even though I Googled it. Sorry, y'all, I'm eating. But I think I just used too much butter or something. And then it changed the consistency a little bit when I added in the relish, but it's very good. So out of all the things that we had planned, the only thing I didn't get done with the truffles, and just to be very honest, I'm just tired. And so I'm not gonna do that. Um, the kids and I did a kitchen project, which of course you'll see at some point. 
um, as soon as we get it finished. It's not finished yet. Um, and I'm just worn out. So, anywho, just wanted to bring you along for a little bit of um, meal prep. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.